Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Try and Restore the Pagan Roman Empire. Um, so I just came back from the Roskilde Festival in Denmark. So I don't know, I'm feeling pretty tired because I don't think I've ever consistently drunken so much beer before. Especially warm beer, just spending seven days in a row chugging beer all day takes a toll on your body. But uh, I'm back, I'm recovering and uh, no better way to recover than to play some video games, right? So I think in this episode we need to start thinking about how to knock out the Austrians. They have been our allies for so long, but um, I do not think it can continue. They own pretty much all the territories that we have yet to conquer. Well, the primary ones anyways. We need uh, the Balkans, the Austrian Balkans, to finish up our conquest of the Balkans. Then we need Austrian Italy, which is down here and up here. And then we need their capital of Vienna. And once we have that... All we need is Zeeland and uh, some territories over here. We need Erzurum, Trebizond, Sinop and Kayseri. And uh, there might be a province down in Egypt that I just don't know about, but knocking out Egypt is going to be easy peasy, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, no, it's really just Austria that needs to be going down. So let's go ahead and dissolve the alliance uh, and wait for that truce to run out. Let's also get another alliance with the Commonwealth. So what had it been a while? I'm sort of forgetting exactly... Uh, no, 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 no. I'm already forgetting why exactly we lost our alliance with the Commonwealth, but... Well, doesn't matter much now, because we're allied to the Commonwealth once more. And hopefully they'll help us beat up the Austrians. Uh, I'm pretty confident we can deal with them on our own, but... Uh, I guess anybody who can help me against Scandinavia would be useful. Might even want to grab an alliance with the Russians to um, secure our, uh, you know, us, our front against the Scandinavians. Or maybe I would ally Scandinavia and then try and convince them to join some dipshit war. There are many opportunities uh, for war upon Austria. We are training in grain and wine and wool and cloth and fish and salt and iron and sugar and tobacco. Oh my! Don't know what that's all about, but uh, that, that that just happened. Also, Cologne, what the fuck? Are, well, I don't know. I, I just need to stop complaining about the animist... The, the weird tendencies of the animist. That could be a movie. What, what are they doing now? Where are they marching? It's a truly an unknown thing. So who are you? Moldavia. You're a vassal, are you now? Well, can I get rid of you? Because I don't really need your existence. I don't need this whole existence thing from you. Stop disrespecting me. Just because I'm tired, getting tired of waiting, I think we might invade the Mamluks. Because this is getting stupid, to be honest. Also, Moldavia, I have too much Diplo, right? Yeah, far too much Diplo. Far too much Diplo. So I'll bribe you into becoming a part of my nation, please. Even if I could just wait a little bit for it to happen, that is not how this will work. Okay, stop improving relations, let's get annexing. Right, so that'll be the end of him. Truce with... Ooh, Great Britain. Ooh, um... Yeah, we might want to wage war upon you instead then. How's the aggressive expansion in the general area? Eh, nobody gives a shit about France. Of course, we're France, we're overpowered. You don't care about uh, the aggressive expansion of overpowered nations. That is just a known fact. Also, is that your tray? Are you finding them? Oh, that's not... Oh, yeah, you shouldn't do that, because... Uh, you see, I, I need this region. And uh, I, don't, I don't need you be... I don't need you to threaten conquering it. So... But yeah, we have like... Well, I don't, what am I even being worried about? Great Britain is dead. We've killed them. So... Hell, we can probably even threaten war from them. <laughs> yeah, we could! <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, I think that's funny. But no. But no, we must wage war. So let's go for some good old imperialism. Uh, yeah, we'll do imperialism. That seems like the reasonable thing to do. Are the troops in position? <laughs> no, they're not. But who gives a shit? Let's just march. Where's the navy? We need the navy. For there, okay. Well, the navy's down here, but I guess we can use it to transport some troops. Or actually, don't we have two navies now? Um, let's see. Here we are, two navies indeed. 
Okay, it looks like it's time to peace out. We won't, uh, we will sadly not be able to take everything because the Triarians have decided to join up the war, but uh, there's not much we can do about that, really. Uh, I mean, hmm, what's our Diplo limit? Uh, we actually are capable of making another vassal, so one thing we could consider is, I don't know, making a vassal over in Ireland, and, um, I mean, just for the lulls of it. Uh, we can make a client state and a march, and we'll have a little vassal who can sail around the world and cause problems and shit. That could be fun. Sure, let's do that. So we'll have a... Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind then, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're just taking these territories. And I forgot to actually give this to Wales. Oh well. Uh, actually, I do want that to go to Wales as well with Essex. Oi, Wales, I forgot to give you clay. Hap clay, please. What is this land called? Lincolnshire. You can have that. And little SX as well. Uh, Wales, there we are. Grand Province. SX. So there we go, some good old overextension. Fresh and ready f just for you. That gives us the... well, I should make sure I core Zalem before I go ahead and... Um... Oh wow, that was just so cheap, holy fuck. Let me read that again. That was madness. Why is that so cheap? Adaptability, corn cost. And the f is third. Oh, gee, fucking god, that's so little. Look at that, 39 development? And it's barely costing me anything. That's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Hilarious? No. Hilarious. Let's go grab ourselves some Inquisition. So I guess this culture conversion cost, which is good, because uh, it, well, potentially allows us to do some fun, good old culture conversion. Can try and get some Greeks popping up before the game ends. Always an entertaining uh, activity. But now we must wait for truces. We must wait for the truce to the Austrians to end. So I think we're just going to sit on our something for three years and just get our troops on the board. Also, let's ally Russia. Well, I mean, I would prefer the calm. Or I would. I would. I would want Scandinavia more. <laughs> but uh, he's allied to them, so that's not going to work. And... I don't know, let's try and ally him anyways. Let's just see uh, if there's some dumb war we can drag him into. Because uh, there might be some bullshit, like he maybe he wants to invade Lubeck for no apparent reason. Uh, oh, never mind, he's allied to Lubeck. And you're guaranteed by people, and... But surely, surely you want to... Well, I guess I just did invade Britain. Plague! Oh no! Do something! Because it's not like I'm... I have, like, freaking infinite money, so that's not a problem. Also, are you ally 21? Ethiopia, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? It seems like he's taking a beating, though, from the uh, Omanians, yeah. Somehow, so... I think we can safely go ahead and invade the Ottomans when the time comes. Is that time now? No, it's not. It's actually... yeah, it's actually going to be war against the Austrians before we can start thinking about waging war upon the um, other dipshits. So, might want to start uh, annexing Wales though, although I kind of would like to have them stick around for a while just so they can do some conversion. But uh, I'll, we'll have to see about that. Integrating Moldavia. Integration is a slow process. That was actually kind of fast, I don't know what you're talking about. So they're now gone, which means that these troops are going to stop reoccupying Animus territory, which is always positive. It's actually disband them as punishment for being annoying. Ooh, we won't actually be able to ally Scandinavia. Well, that's a shame. Well, no marriage for you then. What about you, Russia? Uh, no, he's well. He's close though, so we can surely boost those relations back up and uh, get what we want. Oh no, the House of Rowan is shaken. Whatever will we do? Tonight. It's not like we have any freaking. Um, Power projection, anyway. So who just award the Pope? Austria. <laughs> Wait. Oh God, the AI is so dumb. The, so basically, the Austrians are trying to conquer uh, Rome, but uh, the second they do it, they're going to get an event or something like that. That's like, oh no, you're Catholic, you shouldn't conquer the Pope. And then they'll be like, oh no, that's true. I wish we knew that before we wage war. <laughs> and then they'll just uh, they'll give Rome back. So. They are not the most clever of bitches, but, you know, what are you going to expect? It's the AI. It's, you know, it's just AI stuff. 
All right, so our, tr our truce with the um, the Austrians is over, but I do not know if this is the time to go to war because the Commonwealth has already managed to get their way into a war somehow. So uh, and they're definitely losing because they're getting sworn by the poor, poor Scandinavia. Or yeah, uh, the Commonwealth is getting sworn by Scandinavia, among others, um, which is, uh, is a bit of shame. <coughs> I have to run in here and save my dipshit vassal who is uh, fighting these English rebels who for some reason are stuck in the Middle Ages, but you know, we all know the English, they're a bit old fashioned. That, that only makes sense. Um, I mean, what I'm really, what I really would hope is to see a, um, uh, a situation where I can invade the Austrians without the Scandinavians getting involved. Uh, so I guess I'm just hoping that the uh, Scandinavians are going to get into so much debt in this war that they uh, end up screwing themselves basically and uh, refuse to help their ally. I will take quite a lot though. War exhaustion minus eight. Austrian diplomatic reputation. Oof. I don't know. We might just. I, it might just be better actually to just wage war right now. Now, while they're busy, um, and then, uh, I don't know, we'll beat, we'll beat up their units if they dare to show their faces. Like, I don't know if Hungary, no, there's no way Hungary's gonna not join. Frankfurt is also actually going to be in the war. Sadly, I don't think there's any last minute allies I can get. No, not three here. Damn, that's a shame. Do we just wage? Just wage some casual F war? I really should get some more units, shouldn't I? I have a huge force limit, and I can get like almost a hundred more units. Uh, and I am at my manpower cap, so... But uh, let's just say that a lot of people are gonna die in this upcoming war, so... This might not be the most optimal time to... Uh, to wage the war. So, uh, I don't know. No, let's just invade. Let's just invade while they're busy. Because it's not a question of time before the Commonwealth is gonna stop being in this war as well, so... We need to go get ourselves some good old imperialism. Shame about that. Uh, well, I guess we never did get the Scandinavian alliance, but uh, we need war. If anything, though, the alliance is at least going to try and it's it's potentially anyway. It's going to stop the or at least reduce the um, aggressive expansion they take. So that's a positive thing. Holy shit! That is a lot of units. I have no idea if we can salvage that. I don't think we can. I mean, I'm gonna try, but I really don't think that's gonna work. Ah, if only I got the... Oh, no, no. There we are. They've already, they've already given up. Um, and of course you're gonna run. Oh, where are you gonna run? Down here for some reason? Okay. Gonna go hang out, hang out with the rebels. That's cool. That's cool by me. It's a bit more risky now, uh, dashing down these forts. And holy ball sacking shit, how many units do these guys have? I'm getting nervous. I say I build myself a uh, another legion. I'll have a merc one though. We have our first victory here. Well, they will say, okay, that that might not last long though, but uh, we do have some merc, merc units on the way, hopefully. Guess we'll build some more local dipshits as well. Jesus Christ, my armies are awfully unbalanced. We need so many more artillery units. It is not even fun. It's no wonder it takes so long to siege these um, these forts. We have no artillery. That will not do. Here we have in a battle, although this one might just not go in my favor. As the Austrians are plowing in troops. Come on. Ah, oh, goddammit. That sucks. Okay, we're gonna try and do some <coughs> glorious victory here. Let's just spam all our dipshit in on this guy, see if the Austrians are even... Nah, the Austrians didn't even bother responding to that. They're like, no, we can see where this is going. I don't think we want to do that. Let's see if we can replicate it. There we are. And we'll split up, wait for a morale tick, and then we'll work on the, um, the army over here. Hmm. Huge battle, but no, no one has any sort of uh, modifiers. But oh god, no, we're gonna lose. No, we're gonna lose. No, please, fuck you, game. Yes, 
Well, here comes more. God damn it. Well, I guess we are gonna lose then. Shit. Here, have that sweet, sweet taste of revenge. Or maybe not, because here comes the enemies. God fucking damn it. Yeah, this part of the front is really not serving me well. That is the truth of it. Huh. <coughs> oh, sorry. We're actually getting close to going over the manpower. Or, yeah, or uh, running out of manpower. <laughs> oh my. I wish there was a place you could see like a summary of uh, the amount of people who died in a specific war. I think that could be pretty fun. This time, I will not lose in this dumb province. And I didn't. But I didn't have to give up a siege though, so that sucks. But what are you gonna do? <clears throat> I think maybe I should start a strategy of trying to keep my units separated rather than trying to keep two fronts going at the same time. Because it's kind of making me constantly lose battles that I really can't afford to lose, because I've officially run out of manpower now. So now begins the uh, consolidation phase of the war. Uh, we're still doing okay on money, so I think I'm gonna pump out another mercenary legion. We can't do that? Oh, we have actually built the max amount of mercenaries. Whoops! Never mind that then. Okay, we're finally gonna be able to piece out Frankfurt. I think his entire army is dead though, so it's not gonna matter for much, but... Uh, well, it's still 3,000 troops, it's not nothing. We shouldn't, uh, I don't know, do something or say bad things about it, I guess. And there we are, Scandinavia now also wants out of the war. Mmm, that's nice. Now... Now we end the final phase. There are not a single chunk of manpower left in the entire... French Roman Empire, but that shall not stop us. The Austrians will burn. I just realized also, I forgot to make a vassal before this war. Whoops. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I'll make one after the war. Um, I wanted to make one over here to give lands down here and up here, but uh, yeah, I did forget that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll. Uh, I guess we'll just have to take land above our. Um, uh, Overextension limits, and then just sort of feed it to nations I create after the war has happened. But uh, yeah, I think I'll end the episode here though. So uh, thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.